Everybody, say hello to Tucker. There you go. A warm welcome to Tucker Carlson. Anyway, thanks, Tucker. Uh, we appreciate it. Great show. Welcome to Hannity. We are back with our live studio audience. And tonight, big announcement. The Biden administration is now breaking one record after another, not one of them in any good way. Uh, in 2021, Biden set a new record with the most illegal border crossings in U.S. history. Then in 2022, yeah, right? Wow. In 2022, he broke his own record with even more illegal border crossings. And guess what? This year, Joey's on pace to do it once again with a whole new record high. But according to the most idiotic people that work in the White House, Joe Biden, he's not at fault. It's not his problem. We didn't have this problem when the last administration Biden ended almost all of Trump's border protections and halted construction of the border wall, ended the stay in Mexico policy, and told illegal immigrants, come one, come all, there's no vetting, uh, not even vetting during a pandemic as, as far as health issues. Now, according to DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, his boss, Joe Biden, he is just not responsible. No, you'll never guess what really is responsible climate change. He thinks, I know, he thinks there are climate refugees all over the world and there is just nothing that the president can do about it. It's the climate's fault. Take a look. When we speak about the border, we have to put it in context that this is not a challenge and it is indeed a challenge, not a challenge exclusive to the United States. You know, Chile uh, just deployed its military to its border. Colombia has 2.5 million Venezuelans within its borders. Costa Rica's population is increasingly Nicaraguan. We are seeing a movement of people throughout the hemisphere and quite frankly throughout the world that is historic. But wait a second, aren't these the same people that tell us again and again and again that your border is secure? That's what I recall. Do you recall that? Take a look. Sounds to most folks like a crisis. Well, look, it's way down now. We've now gotten control. Uh, precisely that. The border is closed. Nor could I have been clearer and continued to be so, which is the border is closed. The United States will continue to enforce our laws and secure our border. Uh, the border, um, we are working to make the border more secure. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. We agree that uh, the border is secure. Oh, okay. Uh, now, of course, it's not just who crosses the borders unlawfully. By the way, think of all the drugs that cross that border. Lethal drugs pouring into our country. And this leads us to yet another Biden record, and that is the number of fentanyl deaths. More Americans, sadly, are now dying from fentanyl than ever before. Now, keep in mind, most of that fentanyl that is made in China, it is shipped to Mexico, smuggled across the wide-open southern border. A record 100,000-plus Americans died from drug overdoses in just the last year. This current federal government is now controlled by a group of woke idiots, and now, what, there are really only a, th uh, a few things certain in Biden's America. Let's see. We get record inflation, uh, death, that's guaranteed in anybody's America, uh, higher taxes for every American. Now, as we speak, excess deaths are at a record high, even though the pandemic is in the rearview mirror. And Americans are now paying more taxes than they've ever paid before. This includes the new taxes that Joe Biden just implemented, $225 billion corporate tax, uh, a hike on corporations that will get passed on to you, the consumer. I make the case all the time. Corporations don't pay taxes. Okay, they charge more for their goods and services. It's that simple. We pay it. Now, Joe's $71 billion tax on your retirement funds. Okay, you save for retirement. Now we're going to tax that. And Joe's multi-billion dollar tax on those who end up powering their homes with natural gas, Joe's $12 billion tax on crude oil, Joe's billion-dollar tax on coal. Uh, guess what? All the people in this country are impacted by this, and Joe promised he'd never raise taxes on any American that made under $400,000 a year.
Now, the war on American energy doesn't stop there. Biden is reportedly now set to reject what is a massive new oil and gas project in Alaska. Now, at the same time, Biden opened up oil imports from the hostile uh, regime, socialist nation of Venezuela, where we now buy three million barrels of crude oil every single month. Now, Joe is impoverishing you and your families and making countries, what, like Venezuela and China and Russia rich again? Does that make sense? We have high-paying career jobs. It's good for our national security. And guess what? It is the lifeblood of the world's economy. And don't forget, importing oil comes with a cost. That cost is passed on to you, the American people. Uh, in other words, a hidden tax on every single gallon of gas that you buy. It also raises the cost of heating and cooling your home. And now yet another tax hike after blasting Republicans over that secret plan to upend Medicare. Remember during the State of the Union address? Biden now wants to increase taxes on Medicare. So it turns out Joe Biden was right. There were people in Washington with a secret plan. It was him. He has a secret plan to increase the cost on Medicare. At the very same time, Joe wants to give government workers what it will be the largest pay increase in 43 years. Wow. By the way, if you work for the government, you already make more money on average than people in the private sector. Now, of course, Biden already gifted $36 billion of your dollars to the Teamsters Union to bail out their badly managed pension fund. It was the largest private pension bailout in the history of the country. But what is a few billion dollars among friends, right? Keep in mind, the Teamsters Union, they extort blue-collar workers. They then donate that money to elect Democrats like Joe Biden. But today on Capitol Hill, well, the Teamsters Union president accused Republican Senator Mark Wayne Mullen of being greedy. Why? Because Mullen owned a family business. Take a look. What job have you created, one job, other than sucking the paycheck out of some other body, somebody else that you want to say that you're trying to provide because you're forcing them to pay dues? And no, then, we don't force them. Senator, you've asked the question. You're out of line, Let him man. Actually, the I question. haven't. And don't tell me I'm out of line. You are out of line. line. Don't tell me I'm out of line. Well, you, you, you frame, you're, don't tell me. You I'm frame, you statement. frame, you frame Third, the statement like a tough guy. You need to shut your guy. mouth yeah. because you don't know you're what you're talking about. You're going to tell me to shut my mouth? Yes, I did. Hold it. Hold it. You haven't created a job. We haven't? You haven't been there. You haven't. Sure we have. You haven't. Sure we have. Tell me one job that you created. What are you talking about? Be specific. You're an employer? No, we're not employ employer. people? No, but, you know, it's funny. So, no, then, we, we hold create, on. Then, then, we then create opportunity. Jobs. We create opportunity because we, Sir, hold, that's, that's we not, hold greedy CEOs like yourself not, accountable. You call me a greedy CEO. Oh, yeah, you yeah. are. But he didn't create a single job. He couldn't answer that question. Now, that brings us to someone even more entitled and more sleazy in Biden's or orbit, and that is his own son, Hunter Biden. Now, the president's son is... Any fans of Hunter here? Anyway, uh, the president's son is now desperate to slash child support payments owed to the now four-year-old little girl that Hunter fathered with a former stripper from Arkansas while he was dating his brother's widow. Okay. You can't make it up. But with that said, I don't really care about Hunter's messed up private life. That's his private personal life. Fine. That's all said and done. Uh, but here's the sad part. There's not one member of the Biden family that is willing to recognize this four-year-old little girl in any way. They all pretend like she doesn't exist. You know, aside from court-ordered child support that Hunter is forced to pay out, this girl is precious and she is innocent. And Joe, the president, and Jill, his wife, what, they don't have it in their heart to even want to meet their own granddaughter? Uh, but now, if Hunter wants what, a reduction in those payments, he's going to have to prove that he has financial hardship in a court of law, which might be hard since Hunter is reportedly selling his amateur paintings. Uh, I call them portraits of a crack addict. Uh, <laughs> for up to $500,000 a piece. Now, why would anyone pay that much for a terrible paint-by-numbers amateur painting? I don't know, but there are people that are buying them, but they won't tell us who's buying them. Okay, probably someone where, you know, is paying for access to his father. Look, the Biden family reeks of corruption, incompetence. It's not just Biden's age and mental and cognitive decline. His presidency has been a train wreck, and that's why even Democrats, they are very hesitant to support Joe Biden for a second term. Take a look. Would you support President Biden running for re-election 24? If he runs for re-election, sure. 
In that same vein. Are you going to endorse Joe Biden if he runs for re-election? Oh, there's plenty of time for the election. This is the problem with America right now. We start an election every time there's a cycle coming up. Yeah, he's up. the leader of your party. I, uh, I, I, no, the bottom line is let's see who's involved. Let's wait until we see who all the players are. Let's just wait until it all comes out. Doesn't sound very confident to me. All right, whoever gets nominated in the Democratic Party will be bolstered by a system of legal ballot harvesting. Now, Biden is now accused of weaponizing voter turnout unlawfully on the federal level with an executive order that enables the U.S. CIS to register new citizens at naturalization services, as well as the Department of Education to push voter registration to any student taking out a college loan. And that's not all. The Justice Department is now getting voter information to federal prisoners. That's what they get. They get to vote from jail, put it in a drop box. God knows where it's going to end up. Anyway, according to former President Trump, the best way now to counter these efforts, and Republicans, you better pay attention, you better adapt, and you better adjust. You better get over your reluctance and resistance to voting by mail and voting early, and you better meet and probably defeat the Democratic efforts at legal ballot harvesting based on state law. These efforts, by the way, uh, is the only way you'll get in the game, or otherwise you'll, you start out Election Day down, you know, 500,000 votes. That's hard to make up on Election Day. Anyway, take a look. Many states have banned ballot harvesting to keep our elections honest and fair. But in the states where ballot harvesting is still legal, we have no choice but to beat the Democrats at their own game. It's very simple. Either we start ballot harvesting or you can say goodbye to our country. You can just wave goodbye because Democrats would win every single election. We have to get smart. With your help, we will master the Democrats' game of ballot harvesting, and we will win back the White House from Joe Biden and the people that are destroying our country. They're absolutely destroying America. Thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.